Welcome to English Without Limits. In our last lesson, we learned how to compare two things using one describing word. We learned how to say something is cheaper than the other thing, or thicker, or thinner, or more expensive. We use this language when you compare two things. Today, we are going to learn how to compare three things. That you would say one is more, and another one is even more after that. We call these words superlatives, superlatives. I hope you enjoy today's lesson. <music> Intro to review, lesson 45, take one. Before we go on to talk about our new material, Let's review some of what we did last time. Last time we were learning how to use one describing word to talk about two things and show that one is higher than the other in this quality that we are looking at. So let's join the class as they practice using these words now. We call these words comparatives, comparatives. And let's practice this a little bit with the class now. Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back. Last time we were talking about um, if something is bigger than, smaller than, more expensive than. Um, so can anyone remember when do we use ER then? How many syllables? Two or one. Two or one. That's right. Can you give me an example? Big. Good. How many syllables are there in big? One. Right. So bigger than would go here. I think I have the word here. Here we go. So bigger than. We would have to add an extra G here, but we understand. Is there another word that we could use from this wall to put here? Good. We can say harder than. How about... Short. Can we do that? Sucker. Shorter than. Good. How about shiny? Sunny. Shinier. Good. So when do we use more than? How many syllables? Doing. Not doing. When do we use more than? More. How many syllables? Three. Three. Right. So what words from here can we use? Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Any others? Expensive. Expensive. Yes. And I think there's one more. Good. Comfortable. So in a word like comfortable, let's see if we can get this off the wall here, we'd have to say more comfortable then because it's more than two syllables. You can't say comfortabler than. No, it sounds very strange. Okay. So, let's try this. Give me um, give me a statement. Tell me about these using er than or more than. What can you say? Okay, we have a towel, and what is this? Okay, what can you tell me about them? What can you tell me about the water bottle? Is hard. Yes, it's very hard. And what about the towel? It's soft. Okay, so you can say the water bottle is harder than the towel, or you can say the towel is softer than the water bottle. Okay? Let's look at the prices for a minute. The water bottle is $9.99. How much is the towel? $3.78. Good. Is there another way to say that? $3.78. $3.78. Good. So, which is more expensive? 
the water bottle. So what can you tell me about the prices? The water bottle expressed in the towel? Is more expensive than the towel. Good. How about one of the ladies? What can you tell me about the towel? The towel is what? Do we remember? Does anyone remember? What is the opposite of expensive? Do you remember there? What is the opposite of expensive? Yes, the water bottle is more expensive. That's true. Does anyone remember? It's this word right here. Cheap. 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 So what can you tell me about the towel? The towel is cheaper than the water bottle. It's cheaper than the water bottle. That's absolutely right. Let's practice this a little bit now in the room where you are. I'd like you to take a partner and then the two of you can practice describing things in the room to each other, comparing them using one describing word, one adjective. For example, you might say, the desk is bigger than the chair. And your friend might respond by saying, my shirt is darker than your shirt. And you could look around the room and practice comparing things this way. All right? Take a moment and do that now. Are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. We have been practicing how to describe two things using one describing word. Now we're going to learn how to describe three things or four things or more than that. How to show that one is more and another one is the most, the highest. There is no more after that. Let's join the class as they begin to talk about how to use superlatives. Before we had two objects, now we have three. So we have a penny. And what can you tell me about the penny? What size is it? Circle. Circle, yes, that's its shape. What about its size? Small. It's small, yes. And what about this? Container of paper clips. What size is this? Square. It's square, yes, that's its shape. What about its size? Yes. Okay, so this is small and this is big. So what would you say about bigger, bigger than, than the penny? But now, oh, suddenly we have a container for a kettle. Now which one is bigger? The container. So what can you say? The container is, <coughs> is bigger than the container with paper clips. Now we have all three. What can you say? What can you say? Small. Sorry? Small. Small? Which is small? Penny. Penny, okay. But now, what? Made up. This is the small one, right? So we have a way in English to tell people of these three things, which one is bigger. Yes. Okay. So we use bigger than, more comfortable than, when we're talking about two things. <clears throat> when we're talking about three things, we use something slightly different. Okay. So let's get an example here on the board. Okay. Let's keep big. We'll leave comfortable for a while. We have big, bigger. We've covered this already, right? Two things. One is bigger than the other. But if you want to say that one is way bigger than everything else, we use this. Biggest. Okay, so we have big, bigger, oh, I already 
have that either. And biggest. So maybe if I can have Lair and Sar come to the front here for a minute. Can I have the two of you come forward for a minute? Okay. Lair is big. Sar is bigger. And I am the biggest. Right? Different sizes. Of the three of us, I am the biggest. Now how about if we use short? I'm short. Sar is... Shorter. Shorter. That's right. And what would that make Lair? Do we know? Shorter. Not shorter. Small. Not smaller. E-S-T. Shortest. Shortest. Okay? All right. Thank you. I'll have you sit down now. Now, I have three pennies here, and you can't really see them all that well, but one is dull. Do you remember what dull is? What is dull? What does that word mean? Dirty. Dirty, yes. And we have one that's not as dull. It's... What word do we use? Clean. Clean or... Shiny. Shiny. Good. And then one that's very shiny. Very shiny. So what can we say? This coin is dull. Okay, let's try shiny. This one is shiny. This coin is shinier. And this coin is shiniest. Okay? So whichever one you want to say is the most, you use est. This is all for words that are one or two syllables. Okay? So I'll give you another quick test here. Okay. What I want you to do is touch. Touch these three things. Okay? Can you just feel them? Okay? Feel everything. Here we go. Remember them, because I'm going to ask you which, which is softer and which is softest. Okay. Yeah, testing. This one. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have three things now. We have a towel, <coughs> some toilet paper, and a scarf. Which is softest? Scarf. The scarf, do you think? You think the toilet paper is softest? You think the toilet paper is softest? That's probably good. You think the scarf is the softest? Okay, well, we have some different opinions. Which is... If, if the scarf, for example, or the toilet paper is softest, which is softer? The toilet paper or the... Okay, you think that the toilet paper is the softest? The most soft? Okay. Then which of these two items is softer? The scarf. Okay. And then the towel is soft. Right? So the towel is soft. The scarf is softer. And the toilet paper is softest. Are we making... Is this making sense? I hope so. Okay, let's try something with size now. Okay, which is big? Which is big? Okay. The... Okay, which is... Maybe I should ask, which is biggest? Which is biggest? The tide? Okay. Which is bigger? The bottle. The bottle. And which is big? The, the container with the paper clips. Right. Okay. Good. I think we're understanding. So what you need to do then, to change it to comparing to saying which is the best, you take your word, any word, okay? Hard, soft, thick, cheap, short, small, and add ER to say that it's 
more than, and EST to say it is the most. Okay, so I think we are understanding here. We were talking about the biggest, what's bigger. So let me ask you, what or which is bigger? Which is bigger? The plastic container? Okay. Okay. Which is the biggest? The biggest. We think the shorts? Okay. Let's try it. The shorts are like this. And the towel, ooh. I think the towel is the biggest. But that's okay. It was folded up, so who knew? All right. So this is with words that are one or two syllables. What do you think we do when we're dealing with words that have three syllables? What do you think? What do we do for, for words for comparing them? Okay, so this is $2.75. And Lair, how much is this? How much is this? Good, or six twenty-five. So how do we say that this is higher price than this? How do we say that? Expensive. Right. There's a word you have to say before expensive. Cheaper. No, this is cheaper. This is more expensive. Okay? So remember that. More expensive. How would you say something for comfortable? More comfortable. Ah, good. Um, there it is. More And do we know what we would say for three items? If you don't, that's okay. Okay. We have this word. Most. Okay. <clears throat> so, for example, we have three objects here. Okay, I'd like each of you to touch them again, okay? So touch the shoes. They're clean. It's okay. And the, ten, and the shorts. Okay? Same. And there and there. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to feel them now. Mm, not soft. Not soft. This time we're going to use the word comfortable. <coughs> Excuse me. Comfortable. Which is the most comfortable? The most comfortable. You think the pants are the most comfortable? The scarf is the most comfortable? Doesn't matter to me. What do you think? Sar, what do you think? Which is the most is the most comfortable? Okay. So this is the most comfortable. Uh, let's let's change this around for a second. Comfortable. More comfortable. Most comfortable. Okay? So you think the scarf is way up here. Nothing is more comfortable than the scarf. Okay. Which is more comfortable? The pants? Okay. The pants are more comfortable. And which do you think is, is just, it's just comfortable? The shoes. I really like wearing these shoes. I think they're very comfortable. They keep my feet nice and warm in the mornings when it is cold. Okay. What's another word we can use? We can use expensive. Okay. So let's take some prices here. We have the shoes are $5. We have the tide, which is how much? Six. Six. Six twenty-five. Good. And we have the toilet paper, which is five cents. Good. Which is what would this be? Expensive, more expensive, or most expensive? 
most expensive? Five cents? Expensive, yes. Toilet paper is expensive. Then which is more expensive? Shoes. The shoes, yes. The shoes are more expensive, which means the tide is most most expensive. That's exactly right. Okay? So we use more, more, most for words that have three syllables and ER and EST for one or two syllables. This is good. Um, Okay. So let me ask you then, how do I say that this is... What can you say about these two objects? Which is... What would you say? This is more expensive than, or this is most expensive? More expensive. expensive. Why? Do we know? Why do we say more expensive? Yes, the shoe is cheaper. That's true. But why do we say more expensive? Because there are only two objects. Okay? Now what do you say? The tide is... Most expensive. Why do we say most expensive? Because there are three. Right. So if you go to your clipboards, you should have a page with some lines on it. And they'll have a bunch of words.